So this field here is our big field. This is going to be a food plot, uh, probably about three acres. Uh, total of this field is about 10 acres, but we're just focusing on three acres for this year. This is the first year, and the first time you hit these fields, it's a lot of work. Now, what we did last night is we went and we did uh, a disc on this field. We disced it all up. Now, this is the field that my son Matt two weeks ago sprayed um, uh, with herbicide, and we killed off all the weeds, killed off all the grass, everything was dead. So then today, what we did is uh, after we dissed last night, we're coming through with the, the McCormick uh, tiller, the rotary tiller. And what it's doing is it's creating a really fine seed bed, just perfectly level uh, and just nice. I mean, you can stick your hand and just sinks right down into it about, about mid, uh, mid forearm. We're just about ready to plant. We're going to plant the seed first by hand. I like to walk around and spread it uh, with my little chest sprayer, spreader. Um, and then the rest of the stuff we're going to use the uh, um, cyclone spreader. All right, so this plot we are thrilled with. This is food plot number one. This is our biggest food plot. It's two acres. It's brassicas. And what that means is that this stuff will mature after a couple of hard frosts. It will become really sweet to the deer. Right now it's a little bit sour. Um, but even being sour, we have a lot of evidence of browse. A lot of deer tracks. We have deer tracks everywhere. All around the sides of this food plot, there's just deer everywhere. Uh, we just put up a game camera at the end of it. We're going to see what kind of activity it is. But we we looks like we've got quite a few deer that are starting to hit it already which is surprising because usually they hit this in the later in the winter but this came up so good i think they're they find it palatable right now this plot came up so good i am just thrilled this is the first time we've tried uh planting here on this property in northern new york and and obviously by the looks of this thing we're going to have some very good food plots uh, what we did is we planted a mixture of rape kale and turnips uh, in this plot. They're all about knee high right now. Some of them are a little taller, but most of it's about knee high. And it's just thick and lush, and there's just tons and tons of forage per acre in here, so we're, we're thrilled. Now, there's a lot of evidence of deer starting to browse it already, which is surprising. Uh, we've got some right here. We've got lots of evidence of deer coming in there and starting to nip off the, the tips of this thing. As this thing gets sweeter, as it gets colder in the season, they're going to start to hammer these big leaves and just come right down on all this stuff. But right now, it's perfect, and I couldn't be happier. All right, it is cold out. It's about 5 degrees. It's mid-February. And our turnip pot here looks a lot different than it did in the, uh, in the fall. But, man, they are hammering these things. Here, take a look at this. Here's a... Here's a full-blown grown turnip right here that hasn't been touched. And then right next to it, here's one that's been kicked. They kick it with their paws and then they and then they chew up all the stuff. Here's another one that's been eaten right here. They're also eating these stalks from the brass. This is the utilization of this plot became really, really strong in January after the season ended. Uh, was not as good as we were hoping during the deer season, but as soon as deer season ended, we got bitter, bitter. They really, uh, they really hit up this plot good. So we're happy. We're going to do this plot again. We're happy with these turnips in the grass because I like having this winter plot here for them, sustainable through the winter. We have so many deer coming into this field right now that it's. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good to keep them on the property. That's also going to be good forage for them.